Hello and welcome back to Strive Med with myself, Dr. Inam and Dr. Zach. And today we've got another reaction video today. It's again, it's very intense. I know you, a lot of you guys liked the reaction video we did last time and we brought something very similar. It's also very deep. So get ready for this one. Mm. But I think it's something that's extremely beneficial. Bro. I don't know if you've seen this, you've come across this video, but um, it really reminded me of uh, the hospital and things that we've seen. And uh, again, it just really, really hits the nail on the head, in my opinion. So without further ado, In my hands here, in the size of my hands, I have a little baby. Five months, I think it was six months in the stomach. Fully formed, subhanAllah. When I went to wash this baby, the people in the room seen the baby and said, oh my God, I've never seen this before. I said to him, one day we were like this. Once upon a time, we all were formed like this. Allah Akbar. So why do we walk around with pride? Why do we walk around with arrogance? Why do we walk around oppressing one another? My brothers, sisters, look at this and remember, this is how we were once. Where we would fit in the hand, in the palm of our hands, and we think we have arrogance. Be respectful to one another and swallow your pride, my brothers, sisters. Swallow your pride before it's too late. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You seen that one before? Yeah. You have? <coughs> yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he does a lot of videos like that. I think his name is The Muslim Undertaker. Yeah. But, uh, oh, very quite a name. yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's deep, man. That setting um, reminded me, you know, the setting where he was recording? Mm. It reminded me of when we used to go to certified deaths <laughs> in the hospital. The morgue, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. How did you feel when you first actually saw? Like, By the way, you know, they upgraded the place. Yeah. <laughs> Probably like, they made it look, uh, it's more like high tech now. Yeah. yeah. And what are you gonna say? Yeah, basically, like, man, you the first the first time you actually go in there, yeah, it's uh, it can be very intense. It is, man. Yeah. It is. It is. How but did was, you feel when you first went in, bro? I was, I was a little bit shook. I was a little bit scared. Uh, not not scared in the sense that like obviously your friend or something's gonna attack you, or whatever. Not that kind of scared, but just scared like of like you know, knowing reality like. It frightens you in it of you know like you're coming it's like your uh your it's a wake up call basically. Mm. That's exactly what it is. When you go in there it's a massive huge wake up call. It is, bro. Yeah. I mean even the first time I had to certify a death, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, it was late night on the ward and uh I told the nurse, I was like, just come, you know, just come back me, you know. It's it's uh moral support. Yeah, like it's uh going in there by yourself and it's it's dark, so I'll be I'll be honest with you. I said to. Are, her, are, are you talking about when you go to certify the death? Or are you talking about when you go down into the? Uh, no, no, I was talking about the initial when you go down to the morgue. Yeah. But then on the it's still it's still dealing with the same thing, right? You're seeing yeah. the dead body. You have to confirm the dead. Uh, yeah. So check for, if there's any pacemaker when so you're down the, there. So for, so for the uh, context for the viewers, what you do uh, the procedure is you go and if a patient's passed away and sort of your doctor responsible of the ward or your your sort of your uh, doctor available who's looking after the patient do you go and you certify the death um i think we had a video where dr zaid zaid uh, one of our first ever podcasts he, mm. he actually went through it so you can watch that video anyway where he went through the procedure the steps certify death then you once the death is certified uh the step after that is you um you have to fill out some paperwork in the bereavement office. Thereafter, you go to the morgue where the body is and you uh, do, again, an identity and a pacemaker check. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you have to make sure that it's the correct individual and then you have to check if there's a pacemaker. reason you check is because if the body is going to be cremated, for some people they choose to be cremated, if the body is going to be cremated, then they can't do it with if there's, there's it causes there's some issues because if there's a pacemaker and they can't, they won't be able to do it. So you're referring to when you go to the morgue, are you referring to when you go to the morgue or when you initially certify the death? Both equally, they're both uh, a yeah, yeah. big wake up call in my opinion. But Yeah, both are intense. I remember that yeah, basically on the night shift, they mm. sent me to go confirm the death. So ba yeah. basically, um, it's a patient who's uh, passed away within the last five ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And your role is to go there, 
and listen to the chest for a long time check if they uh, if they're actually dead right yeah and so it was i was just like you know i wanted someone else there in the room with mm-hmm. me just while mm-hmm. i was doing that my mm-hmm. very first time you know after that i have done it myself but um in the morgue yeah there, there are other people there and um but it's just like because obviously the body is a bit colder at that time uh they store i think higher temperatures and uh, it's just like it's a different experience seeing that face which you have communicated with yeah. interacted with the yeah. day before yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. now lifeless, lifeless and it's just like uh, i think that's like the, the, that's 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 also exactly how i felt too in terms of my thought process at the time it was like you saw this individual smiling maybe also at times in pain like you've seen this face which is now as a, a body as now lifeless you've seen it in different stages of emotion i think that's the most i think that's like the most uh, sort of Im- impactful part of it for me also hmm. i think what what lessons can you draw from this uh, video especially seeing like that was a 5 month old baby not you know develop still developing in the womb and yeah uh, bro, bro i think the main the main thing to take away is uh, which uh, which is reiterated everywhere i mean it's not something new that people haven't heard is that obviously death there's death does not discriminate in terms of time location age does that make sense wealth and then you can go on and on so it doesn't matter where you are whether you're in the sea depths of the sea or whether you're but how many people have died in on a plane on planes mm. whether you're high up in the sky or in the sea or high up on the mountains or, there's an eye on it as well right mm. anyway it doesn't either, dis- which one but there's another one about uh, well, I think it's about uh, the one about death and you know it doesn't discriminate your location your time it doesn't matter what. so for example in that video was a six month old mm. so it doesn't discriminate against time and also age similar to that and also um and in terms of time it's not going to wait for you if you're if you're, if you're celebrating like your nikah but it doesn't matter it, at times of celebration at times of uh ill uh, uh like happiness it will still death will can still come and also um in the like in age and also like uh wealth like it doesn't matter how much money you have the end of the day. I think that's the most for me. That's the biggest takeaway. Well, obviously, as I said, it's not something people haven't heard. Mm. I think, bro. The other thing is that people take it for granted as well. Is the fact that let's say this is life. Like you have to be ready for mm. any potential. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not ready and you don't realize that these kind of things can happen, and you know, upon us is to be pleased with the decree, and uh, you know, have at the very least have patience and not not be angry against it yeah but um so this is a newborn yeah someone may be expecting them to have uh you know lengthy lifespan they may take it for granted okay yeah i have this many kids yeah how many have we seen where they have five kids yeah you know a car crash may occur Mm. how many have we seen where they have not so many kids Mm. or like the baby doesn't go to full term Mm. it's literally that's a life you have to be ready yeah, for yeah. anything to occur it's not it's not all uh, fun and games at mm, the end of the mm, day mm. and uh, that just shows that the other factor was that remembering your origins yeah uh, the fact that you were created you know from that sperm droplet and then later on decide to come forth with arrogance and yeah. try to walk arrogantly within the lands yeah it just teaches you a lot of humility the fact that um you know you know it's not guaranteed life's not guaranteed for anyone yeah yeah i agree and again that humility is that uh it can happen at any time something can go wrong we've seen in medicine how the smallest thing can go wrong mm. in the body mm. you see uh, sometimes i think about these heart valves yeah mm. and the valves are doing such a good job making sure that the blood doesn't go in the wrong direction and all of this one problem with that or the heartbeat how many heartbeats do you have per minute if let's say if it just stops you know mm. you have 60 heartbeats right mm. the 60 potentials for like you know okay. 60 times you've been blessed with the opportunity yeah. to keep going yeah like if you actually can see all of these things yeah. within medicine mm. and you can use them to develop these understanding you'll be a very powerful individual mm. in my opinion yeah man 
It's true. It's all about internalizing the stuff, right? Yeah. We hopefully. all know it. Everyone knows it, but people don't internalize it. Yeah, that's why it's important for us to speak about it, you know, even now, like a lot of these reflections probably bottled up in our heads in the workplace and stuff, but mm. now it's yeah. coming out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes back to what we were saying in the previous videos, like you need to have time to actually flesh out these reflections and actually think through them. So mm. anyway, hope that was a helpful video. Inshallah, we we'll see you. We'll see you in the next uh, in the next videos. Take care. Sure. Yeah, all the best.